people that doubted you, they're about to be absolutely flabbergasted. It's like I'm hearing that people, like they didn't know that you had it in you. You're bringing something out of the closet that like you, you're bringing a part of you that you have not showed people in a long time. It's like revenge body. It's like come back, clap back, let me reintroduce myself type of energy. So all of the people that doubted you, all of the people that wanted to count you out, thought you were at home in your PJs, whatever they thought it was, they were wrong. Okay, so I feel like you guys are thinking, I've been misrepresenting myself. I've got to change that. Because people are thinking that I'm going to fall for the okie doke or I'm going to be the doormat or I'm going to be the side piece or whatever, whatever the situation is. You guys are switching it up and people are like, wait, what? So what I got in the download is you guys are regenerating your activities your activities. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys are regenerating your arousal, your increasing things. You feel me? So you guys are really looking at your physical appearance. You're being really self-aware of how you're presenting yourself and what you're communicating to people in that aspect. You're looking at friendships, partnerships, you're looking at how people look at you. Like, is this how my partner looks at me? Do they think that I've let myself go? Is this how my work looks at me? Do they think that I let myself go? You're reminding everyone that they must have had amnesia. They must have because you were not the same person. And you guys are feeling like you're going to start communicating on a whole nother level and you're going to show people how you express who you are in your day to day. So kind of like if you just dress up every once in a while, like you're going to dress it up more because again, you're showing people, did you bump your head? Let's get some cards. You're really tapping into what you want the best version of yourself to look like. And with that being said, you want it to seem complicated. You want it to seem mysterious. I, I'm here for it. I don't know who this is, but you guys are coming out of the gate swinging. I'm getting that you're going to be expressing yourself differently. That, yeah, like you're a healer or, yeah, you're a mother or, yeah, you're a wife or, yeah, you're a husband. But... Like, you're bringing sexy back. Somebody here is getting their sexy back. Period. The soul queen. You feel like there was a part of your soul missing. I feel like you had certain people around you. Or, yeah, you had certain people around you. Or certain people that you were listening to. And what I'm getting is, you're going to start listening to your higher self. You are going through a purification process of, I'm not listening to them. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to start listening to me. I like this. So maybe you guys felt like you were getting bad advice from people and you're like, you're realizing that you do know what's best, that you do have all of the answers within you. You're going to start trusting yourself. I'm just seeing that you guys are coming out flawless, like skin glowing, soul glowing just amazing maybe people haven't seen you in a while and they've been thinking like oh they must be so unhappy you've been busy okay you guys have been busy building your strength and retraining yourself to listen to your higher self you've been changing how you elevate your mood you have been changing adapting to certain environments and you're going to start making environments adapt to you so you're done watering yourself down doing what makes you necessarily comfortable and you're going to start making people adapt to your wave 
I feel like it's a very assertive yet wild card yet I'm the lone wolf but I will eat your face for breakfast like those are the type of vibes that I'm getting that's what I'm hearing you guys are getting your spirit back you're getting your like I don't know like you're getting your something back and your aura is going to be glowing like you're getting a piece of your soul back but that like peace whatever this missing link was or whatever relationship you just cut off, that was like the dead weight that you needed or the aha moment that you needed. And you realize that there's something that you've been watching or listening to or somebody that you've been linked up with that has been weighing you down energetically. You guys are ready for a new adventure. This is all about you guys being a free spirit. Every card is... um. I'm a wild one. Oh, you must have forgot who I was. Oh, let me intro. Re int it's very sassy energy. People need to watch their step. But literally, they need to watch their step. Like your energy reads, I don't care if I'm alone. I don't care if I'm walking on my own. I don't need you, 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 any of yous. I would like yous around, but I don't need yous around. You feel me? You are the lion. You are the authority. You will have your authenticity and you are restoring order. You are realizing where there were certain things that were hectic in your life and that were just not adding value and things that you were holding off and doing for yourself, relationships you were holding off on cutting off. And now you're coming through like, yeah, you're stopping my movement. You're trying me. You need to stay in your lane. You need to mind your business. It's just a lot. Like you guys are getting ready to breathe some real fresh air. On top of that, you're going to feel like your psychic abilities are amplified. So everything right now is about you moving towards this free spirit, moving towards being liberated because you got a taste of it and now you're about to knock everyone's socks off. And I feel like you're shedding different habits say it's smoking um drinking caffeine drinking alcohol like there's just all types of different vices that you're letting go of and you guys could almost feel like you're sick or as i was getting when i was doing the downloads like a nasally type of you know how like the weather changes and you get like allergies or your body's trying to like do you hear it like this is how i'm channeling your guys's energy oh my gosh i can't stand when it's like that but something is getting cleared out something in you is building up to get cleared out and like you're making all of it go so it's like when the weather changes the wind shifts you are that wind and you're seeing all the debris, the dirt, the dust. And you're like, yeah, I can't breathe right now. But after I clear all of this out from the storm that I just like, you came in like the Tasmanian devil and you knocked everyone's socks off. You dismantled everyone's belief system. And now you're showing them like, I'll pick up the pieces by myself. Okay, I will pick up the pieces by myself and by tomorrow I'll be breathing completely differently. So you guys could be feeling like really measly and like you're having issues um, with allergies, but I feel like it's you guys are moving a lot of toxins from your life. You're making a path, okay? Like you could be holding an asthma inhaler and you're just looking hot, okay? Period. Let's see what else we get for you guys. I'm just getting that your everyday activities are changing or you're getting back into a routine that better suits you and you really care about your outside influences right now. You really care about your environment and what you're breathing in, okay? You're just very self-aware right now. 
A lot of people are going to be lusting after you. You guys are going to be having a lot of admirers because people started to doubt you while you were going through something. You were going through a shift. And instead of people waiting, they were like, oh, let me be over here bumping my head on your talents, your gifts, your abilities, and what you bring to the table. And so it's like people wanted to forget about you. They wanted to put you on the back burner. They wanted you to give up, some of them. And you're coming out of the gate like, oh, did you forget about me? I didn't forget about you. Drop your scissors down below. Your cutoff game is strong. 11-11 on the clock. Your cutoff game is strong. Comment down below. I carry myself with integrity. Let me reintroduce myself. It's like a revenge aura, but it's not for revenge. Like, it, I just don't know how else to explain it. You are recreating... You guys are recreating your individuality. And you're just giving people a taste. You guys are going to cloak yourself in secrecy. You're not going to tell anybody details. You're not, you're not going to explain why you're doing the things that you're doing. They're just going to have to sit back and watch. Okay? And they, I think they're realizing that they're going to have to sit back and watch. The vibes that I'm getting is like surprise, forbidden fruit, cloak of secrecy, a lot of sensual vibes, a lot of sensual tension because you guys are restoring order and restoring balance by any means necessary. You guys are restoring this in your life. And the things that maybe you thought you were going to let go because maybe you thought it was over the top. Maybe you thought it was too extravagant or high maintenance. You're realizing that if you were doing that for yourself for the right reason, you're going to work harder to maintain certain things in your life because you're realizing that you deserve it. There is so much that you guys are he healing at the root of you. So like say you used to be like real extra as a kid in your younger years. And then you stopped being all extra and extravagant. And then you did little things for yourself that were extravagant. Then you started feeling bad for those things, bad about those things because of the people in your environment. You're letting go of that. You're like, no, this is me in my prime. Being my best self. And that helps your psychic abilities. It helps your it helps you be a creative force. Like you're a powerhouse. You guys are a powerhouse. I'm definitely getting that you guys are doing something different with your hair. You are jumping timelines. You guys look confirmation. You guys are becoming more playful. Because you're really looking at this persona that you always wanted and you're realizing that it's obtainable. And you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to be that unapologetically myself. I'm just going to be that. You guys are really tapped into your emotions right now. What makes you feel good? This is personal expansion for you guys. And... You're no longer going to walk around being invisible. This is what you guys were doing for like a month or two, maybe even a year. You started realizing that you were fading into the background. 1444 on the clock. You guys started realizing that you were fading, fading away. And the solution was more clear than you realized. Like maybe some of you guys are going to go on a trip by yourself. There's just something big that you're about to do for yourself. And for once, you're not going to feel bad about it. Okay, maybe this is a surgery that you guys have been wanting, a home that you've been wanting, an extravagant vacation that you've been wanting. Yeah. You guys just went through a lot of different challenges. 
high highs and low lows. And now it's like the sun will come out tomorrow. The rainbows are coming out. You're realizing how far you have climbed in life. Why are you becoming wallpaper? You're like, no, 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 no. Not never again. You guys are going to start really communicating that you don't have to explain it to anybody. You'll only explain it to those you care about and those that truly support your authenticity. Those that truly support your inner child thriving, your inner child being playful. Those that realize that your voice matters. You guys were feeling like this trapped bird. This could have been a job that like you were just starting to hate. This could have been a relationship that you were starting to hate. And you're like, I can't be around this person anymore. Or somebody wanted you to be this trapped bird, powerless. Somebody was thinking that you would always be plan B or that you were not stable enough to handle whatever they were doing, you got something for their ass, okay? You got something for their ass. You are showing everyone that you were unpredictable. Simply unpredictable. You're going to be the wild card while you are supported by the universe. Like your confidence is supported by the universe and you're going to see that by these things continuously working out for you. So like you wanting to go get a surgery or um, a trainer or a dietitian, whatever it is, just trying to think of examples. They're, those things are going to easily come towards you. That's how you're going to know that all of this is supported. Wow. So I want you guys to comment down below. I am safe to be myself. I trust the signs that show up in my everyday life. I choose to be kind to myself. I am always supported and I am always protected. My heart is open, loving, and pure. Your guys' beauty is really taking like a, a turn and not a turn for the worse. Like you are going to knock people's socks off. You are this rose. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. You were in this jar. You were starting to droop a little bit. Still beautiful, but drooping. And then all of a sudden, you started blooming again. And you shattered the glass, this jar, this, this cage that you were in. And everyone's jaws are on the floor like, I never knew. Yeah, you knew. You knew. You just weren't ready. There were a lot of people that were not ready for your glow up. You guys are coming in hot. Tiger energy. So we have tiger energy and we have lion energy. We have wild horse and wolf energy. So you guys can really resonate with felines, cats, wolves, tigers. Or horses. I would hold the other one if I knew it wasn't going to fall, but I know it will. So you guys are ready for this new adventure. You're ready to let go of things that you were really attached to. People that you were really attached to. You're realizing that you're limitless. Feel like there's somebody that doesn't want you to speak. This might be the one that wanted to pretend that you never had this in you. You guys using using your voice, because I can feel energetically by you clearing so much out, like they're hanging on. And I feel like they want to latch onto your voice because every other part of you is showing out so hard and it's just not happening. You guys are figuring it out. So I definitely recommend having some cavasite, 
lapis lazuli um, sodalite on you. Maybe even amzonite or aquamarine, okay, for the throat chakra because I can feel as you're trying, like you're working hard on really becoming the best version of yourself and being honest and being aware of how to get that and what that really what that really means to you and how to really obtain that. And somebody is just like, no, like they want your voice. Like you're already shining, outshining people around you. So people are like, don't let them speak. Don't let them sing because it'll be a wrap. All she wrote. Okay. You are unbreakable. You hit different. And everyone knows that. People wanted to bump their head and forget. You are top tier. You are irreplaceable. You guys had a lot of people around you with a superiority complex that wanted to drown out your voice. Never again. These people wanted to drown out your voice. They wanted you to stop talking. And they wanted to... Be the center of attention. Yeah, you guys had some Karens around you. They wanted to be the savage. They wanted to be the one that got all the attention, that constantly had the spotlight on them, but they didn't do the work. You guys have a lot of people around you that just want adoration. They don't really understand love. And so all of this supremacy and not understanding that people are different, just a lot of people are, they feel entitled to your energy. And if you guys are a tarot reader or a healer, like you guys have had it with certain environments or dynamics or clients, okay, because... You're about to go savage. You're wanting to, but you're going to hold back because you guys have some people that are acting out that are supposed to be clients, supporters, like your people, right? And they're asking you for things that are things you don't offer, things you don't give right? And they want you to go savage mode because it seems like you're on this like revenge tour, this comeback tour. And so people kind of want to say, well, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? Can you, can you do a cartwheel? Can you do a handstand? Somebody wants to pull you out of character and they feel like they have that right. Spirit is saying detach, disengage, do not pop off because that's what they want. They want to show everyone why you should be discredited and shame on them for that. This is an ego death for you. You're going to start going with the flow. You're going to look at these people like, yeah, they tried to pull me up out of my seat, but that's a no. That is a no. You guys are tasty right now. Moving amazing. No complaints. So anyone that's coming through with the complaints, they're the chooches and the chuchalinis in the back. The Decepticons. A whole demon in the house. After you've been fading into the background, why would you accept a complaint box all of a sudden. I cannot. You guys are about to have an epiphany confirmation. You guys have had an epiphany, a realization about your intuition, a discovery about what you're going to inherit by maneuvering this way, by operating this way, by loving yourself this way. And you're starting it from the inside out. People don't know what to say. And I, ooh, 
they don't know what to say. They're like, oh, they feel humiliated because you aren't even giving them the time of day. Some of the Decepticons, you are not giving them the time of day. You're not doing the bait and switch. You're not doing it. You are calling back your energy and you are calling it back now. Okay? Comment down below. I am calling back my energy now from any entity, person, or environment trying to steal or harvest my light. I call back my energy now. And I release any energy any and all energy that is not mine. People want to throw some shade. They want to act like, oh, I didn't understand what you said. Oh, I didn't understand your boundaries. They're going to hit a brick wall with you. Period. Let me turn off this timer. Hold on, guys. People are going to hit a brick wall with you. And not because you're guarded, but because you don't have time for their BS. I thought I turned this off. Maybe I didn't. Two thousand years later. Trying to literally <laughs> meal prep and film. I'm a busy bitch, okay? <laughs> I got shit to do. We got chosen one. You guys are realizing that you're enlightening others even on your worst day. When you're being the brick wall, when you're showing up for yourself, when you're loving on yourself. You are showing everyone watching that you are one of a kind. One of a kind. You are opening Pandora's box. And in Pandora's box, it says, I am the wrong one. I am the wrong one. I love it. How you present yourself is changing. Your physical appearance is changing. Your aura is changing. Your glow is changing. You are no longer going to fade into the background, water yourself down. You're not doing that anymore. I feel like there was a relationship or a job or a job code that you had given yourself that was not working out anymore. And you guys are learning to let that go. We got glow up. And weird flex. Don't let anyone make you feel like your glow up after all that you have endured and all that you have been through. Do not let anyone make you feel as if your glow up is some type of weird flex. They don't know you like that. They don't know you like that. They can take several seats. But literally... I cannot. I don't know why people act so dumb sometimes, but they do. But they do. You got new energy. You have new priorities. Remember that. Comment down below. I have new priorities. They do not include eating shit from Decepticon number five. Okay? They just don't. You guys are being reborn. Whoever I'm speaking to, there is a death process. You're being reborn. There was a lot that you had to endure, a lot of reflection, a lot of healing. Like really shedding big parts of your ego that you wanted to stay attached to. So don't let anyone tell you that you don't deserve this. They don't know what they're talking about. They really don't. They're, all they're doing is revealing their true feelings that they're a hater, okay, and that they need to be banished from your presence, from your vicinity, from your business, from your environment, from your love, from your healing energy. So, sorry, I keep touching my hair. I've been, I'm cooking, you guys, I'm cooking, and it's hot. So, caught it. Paint the sun back into your sky. No apologies. Okay, paint the sun back into your sky and do not apologize for it. We're not apologizing. Even if you're quirky and you do things that are weird, you're not apologizing. Yeah, somebody really wants to silence you. Like, they're really mad 
that you're going to build your happily ever after without them. Oh my gosh, like they're so mad. They're like, how dare they? You guys have been seeing 11-11. Don't doubt that you're on the right path. You're on the right path. See, you guys have earned all your stars and all your stripes. You guys are going through a cleansing. You guys are going to be doing things for yourself. And you're just going to have epiphany after epiphany after epiphany. You're going to surround yourself with love, self-care, and respect. Anyone coming in with less than that, it's a no. So release your guilt about doing things for you. You deserve to have your fairy tale. And I feel like you are calling in a new tribe. I feel like you are calling in a better support system for this level up. And I feel like a lot of new people are going to fall into your lap. And I feel like as you guys move around, network, um, change your environment up, you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised at how complete you feel, how grounded you feel. And you're going to be doing these things pretty swiftly. Like you're really taking action right now after realizing that you were losing parts of yourself by being around certain people. So you guys are working on your safety. You're working on your purpose, your drive. You're working on your source of will and self-motivation. You're working on your confidence, your individuality, your creativity. You're working on new friends, new partners, better commitments, cutting off commitments. And you're no longer going to avoid the healing that you need to do and the people that you need to remove. Anything else? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Do not let anyone make you think that you are not committed because you're not on their cookie cutter wave. You're on your own plan. You're on the non-plan plan. And there's people that want to make you feel like you're not wounded enough. You're too pretty. You're too attractive. You're not watered down enough. You're too whatever. Use your voice. Speak up and be heard. Because you have a lot of you have a lot of eyes on you, but you have a lot of abundance coming in. You're going to uh, recommit to yourself. And the things that make you happy. You're going to be assertive. You're going to be putting your foot down. And again, um, you're releasing things that are toxic. You're releasing bad habits, partying, things that you would normally be obsessed with. You guys are letting these things go. And then we have the Six of Wands. Because you guys are letting go of toxic connections. Toxic environments. You're practicing self-love. You're going to get a lot of recognition and a lot of attention for staying on stay, for staying on what's true to you. There's people that want to make you look like a fraud. It's like they have, they are not even acquainted with the facts. Their cheese is not on the cracker. You feel me? Let's see if we have any other advice for the next moves that you guys will be making. And then we're going to get out an angel number. I'm just seeing you guys are going to really be about your business. Really be about, you're going to really be about your business, minding your business. And 
healing certain parts of yourself. It's a huge death process. Um, for some of you guys that are in a breakup or a divorce, you're going to be splitting things up, splitting up assets, and just doing things your way. Like, you're done with letting people bring setbacks into your life. There were people that couldn't walk a line and, and be good to you, or be human, or be normal, or be kind. Spirit saying, you're a born leader. You are ready for the next level. Take your finances or business to the next level. Remember, we also have the Ace of Pentacles. This is about your happiness and you guys taking care of yourself. You guys are going to be taking care of yourself, your health, your inner child. All of this is going to help you guys level up, make more money. Things are going well and you're going to be feeling fulfilled more than ever in your life. Very safe, secure, and stable, even with letting some sources of things coming in. Like, say this is like a partner that you just let go of, and you're used to like joint income, you're not going to be struggling at all. Spirit is saying you're not going to be struggling at all. You are so supported during this transformation. So, whatever you're doing, you're doing it well. You're doing it right. You feel me? You are no longer invisible. We got 233. Is your guys' angel number? I hope I haven't been yelling into the mic this whole time, you guys. <laughs> 233. I'm trying to get used to it. It's been such a long day. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm sending you guys so much love. I need to finish cooking and doing, you know, wifey, wifey things. And yeah, I don't know what I'm going to post this, but yeah. Anyways, if you guys are looking for in-depth pick a cards, link is in the description box for my Patreon. And thank you guys for just all your love and support. We got a lot of new things coming, a lot of new things. I'm very excited. New equipment, new decks, just new new things who dis and i'm just sending you guys so much love don't forget to let me know what's going on down in the comments little mr mr revenge body moving on to the next the next level don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation and i'm so proud of you guys you're honoring yourself your authenticity you're like i'm not perfect but i'm damn cute that's the type of vibe i'm getting don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell, duh, and just thank you guys for all of your love and support. I love my new little microphone, and I couldn't do half of these things without you guys, so let me not yell into it, because like two other videos I did, I was yelling into it. I'm not used to it yet. Anyways, just thank you guys for all of your love and support on my journey, my channel, and I just couldn't do it without you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.